How's it going, guys? I am here uh, narrating a battle for magnitude because he's kind of tired and working late. So I figured it's my job as a superhero to save the day from boredom. This is battle against Alex. So uh, you know what? We have an evolution. So let's get into that first. Oh, God, I love those Digimon cutscenes. Uh, so, yes, this is Alex. He's the Oklahoma City Thunderous coach for the GBA. Uh, I'll go for a knockoff on the first turn. He's going to go for a nasty spot. I did not expect a nasty spot. I figured he'd go for stealth, rock, U turn, something like that. Uh, so, I figured I'd just go for a Destiny on, trade, trade leads, and he doesn't kill me because I knocked off the life orb. So, I'm going to go for it again. Fortunately, though, he decides to attack um, instead of switching out. Uh, though, I guess, you know, switching out could have helped in the long run, but uh, either way, it's 5-5 five, five and we get new leads, so I'm going to go to Halucha, he's going to go to Hiram, and that's unfortunate, because I don't want him to be Scarf, so I have to switch out just in case. I'm going to go, going to go out into Metagross, because uh, he you knows this both stabs, so I figured probably a good play. Um, he's life orbed, however, and that did a buttload. Uh, it's precisely one buttload, that's a metric measurement of... Uh, liquid calculation, and it, uh, it's, it's quite a bit. Uh, so Swapper comes in, uh, I'm going to get Stealth Rock stuff, he's going to get Stealth Rock stuff, I'm going to switch out to Politoed just so we can get that Specs action going. I figured, you know what, we have Ice Beam, Ice Beam is neutral, and it hits a lot of the things on his team for super effective, so let's go for Ice Beam, except the fact that I don't go for Ice Beam. I do go for Ice Beam, I'm a fucking genius! And it doesn't quite kill the Verizion, but it does do a lot though. So that's refreshing. Uh, he's going to switch. I am going to go... I, do I go for another ice beam or do I switch? I... Switch. Okay, so he has a balloon. I'm going to go out into Metagross. Ah, that's right. I figured, you know what? We resist stuff on his thing. If he goes out into Magnezone, that's fine. Uh, because of the rain, Hidden Power Fire isn't going to do crap. And I can go for the Meteor Mash to break the balloon. Hopefully get the attack raise, which I do not. That was anticlimactic. Uh, and then be able to go for an Earthquake after that. However, I predict the switch in a Swampert. Go for another Meteor Mash. Just to... Or not exactly in a Swampert. Maybe into Verizion. Actually, I think Verizion was the prediction there. Which makes sense because Swampert resists Meteor Mash. However, I get the attack raise that time. And if this were 4th gen, I would be exploding right now. However, it is not. And I just have to go for some Earthquakes. I figured if... I can get as much damage as possible on Swampert with Metagross before I die. That would be best. Uh, I don't really need him anymore because I don't have priority on it. And it's almost dead anyway. So that's what's going to go down. I'm going to go uh, die to that final earthquake. And he's pretty much dead. So I can go out to Ninetales, get the sun up. Uh, this is like a roulette grab baggy type match. So we don't really have constructed teams. They're just random crap. And uh, that's why I have two other guys. And... We're going to be able to take him down with a flamethrower. Uh, and now that the sun's up, I'm going to let my Ninetales die intentionally. This is fully intentional. I wanted him to die just because I'm a douchebag. And I wanted to use Weather Ball Raikou. I mean, come on, Weather Ball Raikou? Let's do it. Uh, for those of you that do not know, Weather Ball is a move that changes type uh, based on the weather that's currently active. So right now it's a, it's a fire type move. Uh, and when it turns into the type of whatever the weather gives it, it becomes 100 base power. Uh, now for rain and sun, not only does it turn into a 100 base power uh, water and fire move respectively, it also gets the 50% boost that the weather provides naturally to those types. So it's a 150 power move in rain and sun. Uh, so that's what's going to go down. He didn't remember that he was neutral for some reason, so he didn't go into this in the first place and then kill me with earth power. Um, he ended up sacking his other guy. So, that's a little bit sad for him, I guess. However, uh, I, I really could have just gone into Hallucha now that I knew he wasn't Scarf uh, and finished him off with a um, high jump kick or something. Uh, but I decided to go into Politoed and go for Ice Beams because I'm a dummy. And he ends up having Roost. That is deplorable. Uh, one may say that it is quite... Uh, anyway, uh, as you all probably know, that when you continually roost um, to try to gain HP, it allows the opponent to attack multiple times. 
And the more attacks that take place, uh, the more likely a crit is to occur. And it happens, and he goes down, and that's pretty lovely. So, fortunately, uh, he goes... I don't know why he went for a sub. I think he might have... I don't know. Um, not really sure. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really tell you. Uh, that's... It's a question mark in my mind. He's subbing. I was thinking, does he have, like, a lychee berry or something? Maybe he has, like, sub lychee with a drain punch. That'd be dope. Uh, and I'm not seeing it. Maybe he's thinking I might switch eventually. I'm not sure. But I live a drain punch. And uh, I am able to hit him with another Specs Ice Beam. And I get the freeze! Oh, yeah! Level 9 Frost Wizard. Um, I don't know if that's actually a thing. I don't know. Do any of you play, like, World of Warcraft or Legend of... Legend of... Z Zeal League of Legends. I don't know if Frost Wizards are a thing, but if they are, I'm a level 9. And I don't know if that's good, but it's where I'm at, and I'm making progress, so can't really um, blame you for that. So I bred this Nightwing, this, this shiny Halucha. Amazing IVs, has HP Ice, and it freaking handles Landers and Gliscor. It's beautiful. Love it. Uh, so that's my video for you today. Um, kind of a quick one. I just wanted to give Steve so he can give you guys some content today. Uh, please leave a like on this video. It'll help Steve's uh, Magnitude's channel grow. And that's really what we all want. That's why we're here, right? So uh, give this video a like. And if you liked my narration, my channel's in the description. That's youtube.com slash superblah with two U's. Uh, and if you are late to the party where I had my old channel, which is superblah411, that's no longer a thing. Uh, and if you were wondering what happened to me, that's where I am now. So go in the description and there will be all the links there and that's it have a nice day and you'll have steve back tomorrow